Carlos Pena. I'm a student here at Jones Technical Institute in Jacksonville, Florida. In today's video, we're going to be going and taking our measurements on kingpin inclination. Our kingpin controls our camber of the wheel and the caster. Okay, so basically your camber is uh, your tilt of the wheel itself, right? So if your wheel is sticking out on the top, you've got um, positive camber. And if your wheel is tucked in and sticking out on the bottom side, you've got negative uh, camber, okay? And our caster is uh, the front and back tilt of that same wheel, okay? So if you are, um, if, you're, if your kingpin inclination is towards the back, that's positive. And if it's leaned towards the front, that's negative caster, okay? And we're gonna be taking three measurements today. Our first measurement is gonna be on the top of the kingpin housing. And that's gonna check our vertical end play, okay? And then after that, we're gonna be taking two measurements from the side of the knuckle, basically. And we're gonna be checking out the bushing that's inside the top and the bottom part of the knuckle. Um, and that's gonna be our lateral movement. Okay, so uh, I got the wheel behind me. I've got the front end lifted a little bit. The, um, we're on an unloaded truck. Basically, the suspension has had time to sit and rest in place. Okay, guys, so we're here with our International. Um, we've got it on the lift. It's about an inch above the ground. We have the front end lifted up. Uh, and I have over here, we have over here, uh, the dot indicator set up on the very top of the bushing where the kingpin is at okay the kingpin rides all the way from the top of the knuckle through the through the beam and out the bottom of the knuckle that's where the kingpin is so we're setting this dial indicator on top of that we have over here a tire spoon and we're going to use that to just kind of get up underneath the tire and slightly lift on it okay and all we're doing is put a little bit of pressure, <coughs> making that kingpin move a little bit. Our dial indicator is measuring how much movement is in that is in this kingpin. Okay? The manufacturer specs say that it should be approximately from two thousandths of an inch to fifteen thousandths of an inch. We've got about four thousands of play there that's within our spec okay let's take this out all right so now after we've taken this measurement here we're gonna uh, go to the we're gonna go on the side of the knuckle where the bushing is in and we're gonna measure our lateral movement on the upper bushing and on our lower bushing so we got two more measurements to take and then we'll go ahead and diagnose whether it's time to replace bushings or replace this kingpin, check the inclination being off. <clears throat> Dial indicator set up now on the side of the kingpin housing, right? So the kingpin sits right up in here. There's a zerk fitting on top of that for greasing. Um, and we were just measuring from the top. Now we're measuring from the side. We are a dial indicator. It's not an exact zero, but I mean, you just uh, make a note of where it's at and see about how much movement you get on it. Now you gotta put a lot of man handle into it, right? So usually you would have another technician with you to read what that dial indicator is moving. I can see it's moving probably about five to eight thousandths. And our manufacturer spec, um, very much just like our, uh, our other spec is gonna be uh, about two thousandths of an inch to about 15 thousandths of an inch for a brand spanking new one out the factory. And for a used one, it's gonna be about two, two thousandths up to like forty thousandths of an inch, right? Um, so that was uh, that was our test for our upper bushing. Next, we're gonna be setting our dial indicator on the bottom side of that, also on the side of that kingpin housing. And we're gonna be taking our third measurement, and that's gonna be for the bottom uh, bushing. Like I said, in in the um, in the kingpin itself, okay? Issues on the other driver's side. Uh, so we moved over to the passenger side. We already took our measurements uh, that we needed. <clears throat> We've got our dial indicator set up on the uh, bottom side of the axle beam. 
and we're going to be checking out the bottom uh, bushing where the keeper pins go at on this. Okay, so uh, basically the same thing, same setup. It's hooked up. You see over here on this side, we don't have a big gearbox in the way and all that other stuff. So you're going to be doing the same exact test. All you're going to be doing is pushing on this wheel. Okay. <clears throat> then they push on you. Another technician will be with you, so he can read on that dot indicator. You can see you ain't got too much play. Um, same thing as the uh, as the other spec, you know, uh, for a brand new one, two thousands to uh, two thousands to about twelve thousand, fifteen thousands, something like that. Um, and then for a used one, it's going to be all the way up to forty thousands. This one registered at about seven thousands. Uh, so it's within spec. This keeper or this kingpin was, is still operational, still usable, uh, not too worn out, appropriate play. And this has been our kingpin inclination measurements. Uh, stay tuned for our next video. Thanks for watching.